Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are attempting to make something from the Bioshock series. Um, it's a video game that's been out for a while now, and I've had several people pretty long time ago asking if I could make something from that game, and I wanted to start with something simple, something I could template out and give to you guys so it would be an easy build for, say, a, a, a noob to try and tackle. Um, I built mine in just a couple of hours. It wasn't too difficult. Um, I wanted to build something similar to what I've built in other games that were like not necessarily essential items, but also kind of help to tell backstory and folklore like the hollow tapes in Fallout. Um, so I, I was kind of drawn towards the design of the audio diaries in Bioshock. Basically it's recordings of citizens kind of giving you that backstory that's pivotal to building you know, the narrative for the game. So I thought that was a pretty easy one that we could attempt to build uh, and hopefully be relatively successful at. So today we are going to build an audio diary from Bioshock. Let's get to building. Here's a layout of the template stacked on top of itself in the basic arrangement. Obviously some of these parts have several copies like the real and the little brackets, but this will give you an idea as to how they line up with each other. Cut out the template, trace it onto your material, and then cut those things out. I used a lot of different thicknesses of EVA, all of which are always labeled on my template pieces as well as in the description of each video. This prop design reminds me a lot of making mixtapes when I was a kid with our old tape recorder. I had to do some cutting on the bottom of this piece to match the angle with the sides and cut the top so that it was even. It made sense to me to go ahead and sand those areas now instead of after I attached them because parts would be harder to get to. It's pretty straightforward on assembly. Everything pretty much just stacks on top of each other. I mark areas that I need to glue up to limit waste. You know it's getting time to order more barge when the can is tipped on its side. I get asked a lot where I get the various thicknesses of EVA foam from. I source out materials wherever I can. Simple Google search can give you a basic ideas where you can find it accessible. I buy most of mine online from TNT Cosplay, but I have also bought from SKS, Joann's, Lowe's, Walmart, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, and even garage sales if you're looking hard enough. Uh, just kind of always be on the lookout for deals. Harbor Freight has some cheap foam from time to time too.
For smaller detail pieces, I usually switch over to super glue because it's easier for me and my giant hands. The drawback to this method is that you better be sure when you lay it down that's where it needs to go because it will grab hold pretty much instantly and it hardens the foam. I wanted to add a support wire inside my EVA dowel and thought I would try a different way. Figured I could get away with making it into three sections and running the wire in without cutting it in half. My Dremel bits won't go in very deep so I thought I would just push this three inch screw to bore a hole for the wire. It worked pretty good. I took off the bit and the chuck on the Dremel to make my faux rivets. The brackets were just too small for any of my normal bits I use. Then I added the speaker vents with my wood burner. Wear a respirator and work in a well ventilated area while sanding and burning foam. Neither are good for your lungs. I usually skip this step in videos just to save time, but wanted to point out that anytime I'm using EVA film, I always heat seal it before I plasti dip it. It closes up the foam and gives you a better coverage on your paint. You might notice it looks a little different. I might have caught it on fire outside. Trying to salvage it so it just goes to show that I mess up too. It just normally gets edited out. Don't get discouraged if your build goes wrong. Make adjustments and keep going or start over. That's how we learn to get better. 
I decided instead of completely scrapping this build and not posting a video that I would try and salvage it with a very weathered look. So I hit all the parts with the various colors, painting it all by hand because of the close to freezing weather outside. To add the protective screen over the tape deck, I found a random paint package I had laying around that was big enough. Just trace over the hole with a sharpie, cut it out, then remove the sharpie marks with some acetone, you know, fingernail polish. I scuffed it up with some SOS pads and then added some grime over the top with an acrylic washer too. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell on myself. It dropped into the 30s last night while I was trying to paint it outside and to try and keep it from getting too cold and messing up the texture and all that stuff. Uh, I hit it with a little bit of um, heat, we'll say and accidentally caught it on fire. Uh, so there's this really gnarly texture that kind of goes over the whole thing. And instead of just scrapping the whole thing, I, I figured I'd just kind of make it to like it was uh, extremely weathered and kind of rusting up a little bit. Um, so it is not as I intended it to look, but uh, I think it still reads as what I wanted it to. Um, the paint job obviously is lacking because of the horrible texture the, the entire thing that got engulfed in flames uh, but it is what it is it's a it's a learning mistake and definitely something I probably won't repeat um, I did the same thing to the stormtrooper helmet I built not too long ago so maybe you'll try and make your audio diary yourself and not catch it on fire on your back porch and freak your wife out and throw it into the lawn on flames like I did yeah Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. Let's uh, see, what, see what's on this one.
Come on, Mr. B. We'll miss the angels dancing. All right.